Hey, I decided to come to one of my favorite parks, Petrifying Springs in Kenosha, Wisconsin, because the book is coming out, The Dragons of Deep Wood Fen. It's coming out in about four weeks, a month now, December 5th or 6th, I'm forgetting which, for Daw Books. And then uh, in the UK, it's gonna be uh, early January. I started a series of small talks on little parts of the book based on the cover. The cover has a lot of things kind of wrapped up in it, including the, the two main characters, Rylan and Lorelei, and their dragons, Vadron and Bothamus. Uh, and so I talked a little bit about that and um, the dragons of the, the world, the, uh, the different types of dragons and the magic that they have. And one more that I wanted to do was based on the series name, The Book of the Hold. There was a war that played out and it came to a stalemate, but the Empire managed to suppress a lot of the knowledge that the people, the kin, had about many things, about magic, about the forest, about dragons. And so centuries pass and a particular woman named Rigmora, who is a witch, learns how to commune with the trees. The trees themselves, the largest of them, are called citadels. And they're these gigantic redwood style trees that dominate the forest. They're like a thousand feet into the air. They mesh with one another. They're like a colony tree. They, the trees have like a memory of sorts. They can pick up on the thoughts of the people who live in the forest and it remembers, the forest remembers. And so she begins to unlock some of those secrets and she records them in the Book of the Holt as it comes to be known. Uh, and so the Empire finds out about this and becomes uh, nervous, fearful of what she might find, what she and the kin might do with that knowledge against them. And so they eventually find her and kill her for it. But that book, the Book of the Holt, survives in some form or another. And so it's legendary at this point as the first book opens and bits and pieces of that have come to certain characters, among them Rigmora's uh, daughter Moraine, her two sons, Eric and Lorne. And so uh, even though Rigmora is no longer alive and has been dead for decades at this point when the story opens, she plays a huge part in the story. And not just the first book, that book, The Book of the Hulk, will continue to play a part in the series ongoing. In fact, I'm writing book two now, uh, and I'm already kind of playing with the notion of what happened with her before she died, who she spoke to, who she might have shared knowledge with beyond the writings in the Book of the Holt, and what other people are now prepared to do about that. And so it's, it's pretty fun. It's a pretty interesting to me piece of the history of the world. And so I wanted to share that with you so you can kind of understand what the Book of the Holt is, what it sort of means to the, the characters and the powers in play, which are largely the Empire and uh, the Kin and a number of Elder Gods who the people of the forest have kind of not forgotten about exactly, but they've forgotten some very key details that they are about to be reminded of uh, in rather rude fashion. So that's a taste. I hope you enjoyed this walk with me. Look out for the Book of the Holt coming up in December and in January in the UK. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Bye-bye.